There's a woman in here, I believe, maybe an elf, can't remember, who walks around with a goblin staff on her back. How are you? Hi. Yes? Uh, oh, you trade. Let's do business. Do you have much gold on you? It's uh, not terrible. Hmm, that's not terrible. Let's work together, shall we? Oh, I still don't have my helmet on. Whoops, okay. Firewalking. Yeah, I still can't get full value for that. More potions, I guess. When in doubt, sell potions. Sell all those. Uh, you still have some gold left. Okay, sell those. Mercantile increase. Very good. Uh, ooh, lich dust. Right, I won't use it. I will sell it, though. A fine no! Transaction. Oh! Oh, duh! I was gonna... Nope. It was the inverse. I was gonna sell it, but... I was gonna use it, but not sell it. Shit. Sorry, guys. I just broke character there. I was confused for a moment. This I'll sell, though. Damn! Crap. I did something I didn't want to do there. Oh, I still gotta sell that book, too. Alright, anyway, you're out of money, so whatever. I appreciate your business. Okay, let's pretend like I never had that lich dust on me, Good day. huh? Greetings. Good day, madam. What do you want? Uh, actually, I want to see if you have a hot lunch. Can I interest you in some of my wares? You are the ale capital of Cyrodiil. How did that work out? You don't have a hot lunch. All right, I'll just eat what I have on me. Be seeing. Just roll out my uh, place setting right here. We have a little bit of wine. There we go. And let's have the ales well bred. The beef. That sounds really good, actually. I'm kind of hungry now that I think about it. Me personally. And a pear. And it, yes, it was, it was actually lunchtime. I'm very pleased with myself for having pulled that off. All right, uh, I don't see the, the one lady. Is that this? I think it was this lady. Maybe she's since sold her. Hello there. Good afternoon. Her uh, staff. I don't know. Is it some initiation test or something? Maybe. Why are they saying that all of a sudden now? Or maybe she uh, has it upstairs in her room or something. All right, let's follow the path. Though, if I remember correctly, there are more land tears. Yes, game. There we go. Yep, right here. Here we go. Very subtle one, but one nonetheless. <laughs> the road sign right in the middle of the wood. Uh-oh. I don't see anything. Oh, freak. It's an imp. Flame? Wrong choice, my lad. Speed's being drained, how dare you? Uh, sure. Let's look at this road sign then. There is a... There is a path here. Skingrad, Breville, Imperial City. Have I seen this tent before? What is this tent doing here? It's a camp. Right on the pond here. I don't think the grass is supposed to be there. If I had to guess, I'd say the landscape changes here must be very subtle. Like, if they didn't change elevation at all, they just inserted a few things. That's interesting. So can I follow this path then? As far as it goes? Westweald is a goddamn beautiful area. 
perhaps a bit too topographical for my taste. Too many contours, but still very pretty. I will have to, at some point, break out the map and make sure that I'm not passing Farragill too, but I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh yeah, that's I killed a troll down there and he disappeared into the water and I couldn't retrieve his goods. It's nice to be this fast, though. Another camp. Yeah, see, there shouldn't be so much growth here. The hell is that sound effect? Sounds like rain on a tent. Okay. Weird. I'm not taking Viper Blue Glass because I don't really need it anymore. I don't need more Night Eye ingredients. Fort. Uh, no, thank you. Just want to get to Farragill if I can. Whoa. That came out of nowhere. What a view. What a beautiful freaking day, now that I think about it. It's a gorgeous day. Alright, let's check the map. I just want to be sure that I don't pass Farragill as I go. In fact, I was just about to pass Farragill. I basically have to go straight down the hill here. There it is, just through the trees, we can start to make it out. Sometimes this game just kind of works like magic. I'm just thinking like the music and coming down the hill and being in, oh, being in the woods. And then suddenly, here you are. You just happened upon this very well-modded town. Where's the other wolf? Surely not dead. Maybe dead. Ah, uh, sure. Always use more feather. Right. Now, the last time we were here... Uh-oh, there was a journal update. Ah. Uh, this one, I think, is another hidden. Yes, it is. Last time we were here, there was... Um, a fight between me and some goblins. Uh, actually, and, and some guards. Like, I was on the guard side. But, uh... The problem is that they weren't very happy with me because even though I saved them, they told me that some of their town's people had died and they were kind of upset about that in the goblin fight. Uh, is it a completed quest? Pa oh, here we go. Upon returning to Farragale, it appears as though the dead have been buried and things are attempting to return to normal. It will likely take months, if not years, for the village to fully recover if it ever does. Yeah, so they, they said, they told me that somebody, some of their townspeople had died, which didn't seem fair because I'm pretty sure when I fought the fight, uh, nobody died. But anyway. Oh yes, that's right, this is the... Battlestar Galactica Town. Hello there. Trouble? No, just trying to see what's new since the last time I was here. The Emperor is dead. And so are his heirs. We're a legion without a leader. The blades were trusted with our Lord's protection. And they failed. Hmm. Yes. Well, you are stationed in Farragill, so that's not really any of your concern, I don't think. 
it's said that the dead were buried, I presume there's a graveyard somewhere if I were to find it. Let's before we go to the inn and confront Armin Jarius if he's there, let's try uh no, there's this is a blacksmith, so he's not gonna have anything for us to sell, is he? Or he's not gonna buy anything from us that we want to sell. God, it's dark in here. Hello. Gold Grolum, that's What right. do you want? Just saying hello. How's Farragal been since I've been gone? Things are looking up around here. Especially after you got rid of those goblins without it turning into an ugly battle. I made sure to mention you in my progress report to Darcy. Can't hurt to be in favor with a wealthy land baron, right? No, oh, that's very kind of you. I also heard a rumor from a passing traveler that some Nord has purchased an estate charter on the edge of town. Huh. Um. Oh, goods for Thelonious. Yes, that's right. You are a blacksmith. I could ask you about it. Okay. Are you kidding? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, alright. He's like, hey, I put in a good word for you with our, our Baron. Uh. But that's it. That's all I'm doing for you. Get lost, kid. Cow. Oh, that's right. This is the graveyard up here. This was already actually here. Let's take a look. They've added somebody, maybe? Appears they have. Jorak? No! Jorak! Oh! Dread Pirate Dean. <laughs> here lies the Dread Pirate Dean. Didn't mean what he thought it meant either. Okay, that's interesting. Jorak died. Jorak came and found me and brought me back to Faragil to confront the goblins. How, when did he fall? I didn't see him fall. Maybe it's scripted that you, you just can't save him. I don't know. Zenithar! Yes, uh, this believing Dunmer, don't, don't doubt that I believe, uh, would like a blessing. Honest labor earns its own reward. Pray at my chapel altars to receive my blessings. Yes, thank you very much, Zenithar. Man, Jorak died. That's sad. Well, hopefully everything else has worked out well. Uh, where's Bites Her Tongue? Bites Her Tongue! Yes. Just calling to see... Calling. Just asking to see how you're doing. Uh, alien, alien relics, I guess. Unfortunately, by the time we got here, the miners had removed most of the relics and used them to finance their operations or pay off villagers. Still, there was enough left down here that I can at least recover the cost of my own expenses. Um, she is somebody that we saved. She was wearing full glass armor last time we saw her. She's somebody that we saved from the, the, the mine slash alien ruin. What do you know about the Dread Pirate Dean? If you mean the Dread Pirate Dean, I've only heard rumors of his exploits throughout the Nibine Basin. Isn't he dead now? Uh, apparently your blacksmith put in a good word with uh, Darcy for me. What does that mean, do you think? I understand he owns all of the land in Farragill. Beyond that, I don't know. The smith in town handles everything on his behalf. He also owns the mine, for whatever that's worth these days. I don't imagine he'll be too pleased with what's gone on here. No? He saved his town from near destruction. Farewell. Farewell. I wonder if Silor is around. Maybe he's in the inn. Let's check. But we may have to fight in the inn if it comes to it. In fact, let's let's get the good weapon ready. Yes? Okay, good. We're <laughs> ready to go. Couldn't tell if it froze or if I just wasn't moving. Crickets? Why are there crickets? Damn. Looks like Armingerius isn't here. Well met. Maybe he's in Nebish thinks the Gottshaw in wherever that is. That's right, the beautiful artwork. That is a town called what is that town called? I've been there. Vergayan. That's right. Vergayan?
And that Hi. is a place we haven't been before. Hi! You don't happen to have a battle mage high elf uh, staying upstairs, do you? Should I kick down the door? No, that wouldn't seem appropriate. No, that wouldn't seem appropriate. Let's... Oh, yeah. Too, too early to stay the night here. I don't know that I've been there either. Doesn't look familiar. Hmm. Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Um. Well, with him not being in Faragil, and knowing that we saw him at the Imperial Bridge Inn, and that somebody said that he might be at Gottshaw Inn, what are you doing out here? I would think we'd check those two places next. Hello. Well met. Excuse me for jumping in like that. Oh, you're the traveler. That's right. Uh, Dread Pirate Dean. Dean, he used to be a famous pirate who sailed Lake Vermeer and the Nibbin River. He made a big name for himself. He visited our village one foggy morning and told a whopper of a tale about how he'd had his way with the emperor's daughter. Jesus. Legend, legend has it he repeated that story once too often and the Dark Brotherhood was sent to assassinate him. When they finally caught him, he pleaded with them that it didn't mean what they thought it meant. It didn't stop them from slitting his throat. Nobody ever found his body, but it felt wrong not to give him a proper burial. Yes, that's right. Every one of these modded towns we visited, these villages, has a grave to dread pirate okay. Dean. Reedstand had one. Vergayant had one. Farragill has one. Have we visited any other towns? I don't know. Have we? Vergayan? Uh, Reed Stand, Farragill. I think that mm, might have been it. Can't recall. It's been such a long LP. Oh, Urasek. Uh, yes, we walked past Urasek. We haven't actually stopped by and said hello to anybody though. That's all that we know of at this point. Well. Damn, he's not here. I suppose we could wait around. It seems like a waste of time. Let's... Uh, we need to go back to the Imperial City, I think, to drop off that staff of Wayan deer. We could get there by tonight. We could get to Wade by tonight. Get to Wixseed Manor. I was thinking we could use the travel service, but it's been a long time since I've walked this stretch of road, so let's just take the road. Yeah, it feels like forever since I've gone this way. It's probably been at least 100 episodes, I think, which is like 50 hours. It's been a very long time since I've been through the West Weald and taken this route. But I can certainly say now I feel like there's not much that could surprise me at this point. I feel pretty haughty. Level... what level am I? 26? 26, yes. And I haven't even put my helmet on yet. <laughs> I'll do that now. Um, yeah, there's not many surprises left for me on the road, I don't think. Of course, oh, I, I will, I'm sure, encounter a Minotaur at some point that will punch me with one fist and lay me low, but for now, I feel like a total badass. Hello, who what might you be? Is it now? My poor husband is getting no sleep. He's awake all night taking care of those stupid plants. What plants? What are you talking about? You can't even tell me what you're talking about. I think we're in for some hard times. The death of Uriel Septim and his heirs changes everything. Hmm. All right, I'll leave you to your plant-watching husband. Take care. Oh, right. Pell's Gate. Forgot about Pell's Gate. Oh, 
And Fort Homestead. Yes, we had to run out of that one, didn't we? Uh, could go that way to get to the bridge to the Imperial City, but I don't want to. I want to go up to Wixie Manor, so I'm going to go this way. Yes, that place where pretty much every enemy had Dwemer armor on. We had to duck out. Could go back in there. Maybe someday. Not really appealing right now, though. We have Fighter's Guild and uh, Lucius Quest to attend to. I think the Lucius Quest I'm just going to kind of have in the background of my brain. You know, the, the, the background of my brain. That's a weird thing to say. Back of my head. Back burner. There we go. Have it on in the background. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, where when I'm at an inn like Gotcha or Imperial Bridge, when I'm near one, I will check it out. But I'm not going to like actively hunt in to in to try to find. What's going on over here? Is he watering his horse? I'm distracted, but this is interesting. Come on, game. There we go. Um, yes, so it'll just be kind of be like as I think of it, you know. Or well, sorry, as we encounter places that could be where Armandarius would be, that's when we'll talk to him. Excuse me, what are you doing out here? You're just watering your horse, huh? The Imperial Legion is at your disposal, citizen. What seems to be the problem? Just checking to see if you're okay, honestly. There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Antwerp. All of the Bella's priests, priestesses, murdered. Murdered. Farewell, citizen. Some freaking epic music. We need an epic view for this epic music. Uh, one reason that Nebish is excited to get home, apart from dropping off the staff, and the sixth house, sixth house amulet, I'll have to remember to drop that off too, is to see Marina, whom he thinks he has a blossoming romance with. You know, uh-oh. Guards are up to something. They're killing a wolf. But they also have what appears to be a conjurer after them. Dude! What are you doing to that horse? Not anymore, you're not. Gentlemen, your horse was saved. By That's my kill. D freeze, game. That's my kill. Hey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I know that everyone who's thinking it, uh, who's seen it, is is thinking it right now, so I will just say there's something about these conjurers that makes them want to kill horses. You are suspended in midair, sir. State your business, citizen. What the hell are you doing? Carry on. He has a rising force potion on him. You guys are going down. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Just die. Just die. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh oh. Tremora. Quit ducking. Thank you, gentlemen. Well done. You won't kill any horses on my watch.
in my mind, um, game, come on. In my mind, my Oblivion LP takes place in the same universe as some of my favorite LPers, Oblivion LPs, have taken place. What's going on with the world there? Um, so, like Sorcerer Dave's Idris and Variax's Variax, I think are, uh, I like to imagine, are out there in the wilderness somewhere doing their thing right now. Variax, of course, would know, uh, well, Variax's character, Variax, Sir Variax, would of course know uh, what those conjurers do to horses if you let them. Don't kill them quickly enough. It's unfortunate, really. What is this? It's the merchant again. Uh, I don't really care to see the merchant, so I'll just keep on going home. Smell of freshly buried dead. There's something off in the grammar of that note right there. It should say, you smell freshly buried dead. Saying you smell of freshly buried dead is an insult. If you, like, there'd be a huge difference between walking up to somebody and saying, I smell freshly buried dead, and saying, I smell of freshly buried dead. A bunch of goddamn bandits. I've cleared this place once. What the hell? Ow! Ow. You know what? Because I'm not going to use it again before dawn. Ooh. Summon bear. Let's try this. We haven't tried this yet. Ah! Ow. Now I'm invisible. This is fun. Ah! Ow! How did you hit me, you punk? All right, well, I'm not going to be invisible after I take this potion. Dude, what the hell? You shouldn't be able to kill me like that. Hit me like that. Okay. Um, and I need to put my helmet on. Jesus. <laughs> Damn it. Ow! Damn it. Goddamn Dunmer archers. Oh, well done, bear. Ow! Show me what you've got. Fuck's sake, dude. My bear is about to disappear. Duck behind this. Duck behind this column. Oh, he's not dead yet. The other archer. Now he's dead. Oh! Ow! <laughs> okay, come on. Why was I standing there like a dope? I was staring at the the one Dunmer to see if he was dead or not, and I got hit by that dude's arrow. Ooh. Now's the time for my ancestor. Hey, you got an ancestor power? If so, summon it now. We can have an ancestor fight. Ooh, he got the mace out, did he? Whoa. Ooh, I missed. My ancestor's apparently fighting mud crabs or something. There we go. Conjuration's being drained. What did you do to me, you bastard? You have mud crabs on your side. Get out of the way. He's healing himself. This guy is rather good. Ow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Need fatigue and health. Uh, where am I? What am I looking for? Fatigue and health. What am I doing up here? Oh, where are they? Potion. Restore fatigue. There we go. Make some room. Make some room. Ow. Oh, 
On the road, then. Uh-oh, the guard's coming to help. Ooh, nice. Thanks, Grandfather. That was your kill, actually. Nice. <laughs> Messing up crabs. Got foggy all of a sudden. Damn it, bastards. These, were guy These guys were very well armored. Ethereal boots. Eh. Nothing worth it on them, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dwemer bow. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking about it. Um, in Dunmer culture, I think then you would want to have many, many children, right? Because you would want uh, you would want to be an ancestor when you die, to be revered by those you've left behind, and to be called upon them to help them out. Not to be called on by them to help them out, rather. So that would be... Yes, if you if you were a childless Dunmer and you died, that'd be very unfortunate. Because you wouldn't be anyone's ancestor. Ah, home. Thank the gods. Okay, prepare for the frame rate to dip even more than it normally does. Because we're going to a town where we've actually added the population considerably. Oh no. Who is this? Oh, it's Spurious. Yes, we have a quest for Spurious. We're not too worried about it right now. Malik? Malik! Oh, there you are. Remember Malik telling you if he sh saw shiny things he tells you and we share? Malik found shiny things. Like what? Well, maybe shiny. Hard to tell, but Malik thinks there might be shiny things. Malik was in the big white stone place down by the docks. You went in there? The one with all the dead people? And the big shiny light thing? Malik saw a big hole. A big new hole. Malik wanted to go see if it had shiny things, but it was in the water. Malik doesn't want to get fur wet. So Malik comes to tell you. You go down in the hole, find shiny things, and share with Malik. This is good plan, yes? Crap. Well, did you find... No, I just talked to you. That's too bad. Malik was hoping for shiny things. Patience, Malik, patience. You too. Speaking of, actually, sorry. No, not yet. Uh, you can't repair while I'm doing the quest? Okay, you. god damn it. Fine. Well, tomorrow morning, instead of heading straight to Shaden Hall or Anvil to <laughs> basically begin the Fighter's Guild questline, I will instead be going back into that Alia dungeon to see what the hell's going on down there. Apparently Malik is a rather bold kitty. He just goes in there by himself. Ooh. First the chapel attacked. Now the prophet she and him are pissed at each other. <gasps> Marina! No Uh-oh. She's having dinner with Orlando. Enough talk. Oh, can't a girl have a little time off once in a while? Uh, sure. That's not a problem. Hello. Did you see that scene in front of the manor? The Imperial Legion's making arrests here? I know, isn't it wonderful? It's about time something good happened in this town. Yes, that sounds like just casual chit-chat to me. Doesn't sound like two people in love. Surely not. Oh, Marina loves me. Marina loves me. Whoops! Wrong button. That schooner trade is bad business. And the Ren Ridra Kryn are just a bunch of thugs. Goodbye. You too. Walk with virtue, friend. Yes. Yeah, they're clearly not in love, right? She's in love with me. She has to be. Look at me. I look awesome. Um, some wine. Some wine, some wine, some wine. Yes. Okay. And... Best ham money can buy. And some grapes. 
and a bread roll, and a sweet roll. I have eight sweet rolls. Okay, I need to eat those up. Yes, that should do it. Look at how many people there are in the inn here to have dinner. This is great. All these people in the town that we've affected. Elahai, well, Thelonious, what have we here? Malik, Hi. Orlando, Marina, and this person. How about a, a, a ballad? What do bards sing? Yeah, poem, poem, ballad before retiring. I hope I can help. Yes, Alison. I would like to hear a story if I c you trade. Let's do business. What do you trade in? You have a book and some cheese. You have a lot of gold. Hmm. You buy almost, well, apparently everything. I'll sell you that. Yeah, let's say that's everything. I'm not gonna bother. That's fine. Thank you for your business. Of course. Um, could I hear a tale, perhaps? Do you know anything about Julia? That's a sad story you tell. Lucius Decimus involved in a murder mystery? Who would have thought it? Tell me a story of... Vivek? Oh, now, Vivek was an unpleasant sort of place. Very stiff and stuffy. All these ordinators lording it over you, saying things like, We're watching you, scum. I think I've asked you this before. I must say that the architecture was impressive, though, and I got to see the Nerevarine from distance, anyway. How do I get you to tell... Oh, a tale. Right, a tale. But of course, I know many tales, new and old. What would you like to hear? I talked about Gaius Varus before. How about the most dangerous game? Very well. Ooh, everyone, sit back and listen. Thank you. Be quiet. Everyone be quiet. I'm not sure the Dark Brotherhood is any more serious a problem. God damn it. Quit talking, you assholes. I will tell you of the orc Kurt. Oh my god. You too. I... <sighs> Sorry, Alison, they're all interrupting your story. A hunting ground he constructed, we don't know who, in the depths of an island fortress, a maze full of traps, where his prey fled. Pursued they were by Curden and others, who paid vast sums to hunt. Oh, yes, hunt and preserve. She's telling the story of the time that I tried to save uh, Alaron Locke and failed. Here found himself one Alaron Locke, a Breville man, and here to our hero. Same you see before you, something, something. Alas for poor Alaron, slain by the hunters, but he is avenged, for our hero came through the maze and slew the hunters. <laughs> and last he dueled Curtin, the mastermind, and put all of his foul plots to rest forever. Everyone's applauding. What is it? Is this mod not the most freaking epic thing ever? Well met. I just wanted to say thank you very much for the the epic poem there. You too. How are you? I'm well. Orlando, keep your hands off of her. Marina, I mean. This is the greatest mod of all time, I think. Duke Patrick, Oscuro, and and the Way mod. Seriously, those three are my top three. I think it's amazing. Ajima, Hello there. what are you doing out? this hour. What are you, why are you just staring at Elahai's stuff? What does Elahai even have? Huh. Okay, guess he's moved on. Grieg! Uh, nothing. Just saying hello. Alright, straight to bed. It's late. Tomorrow maybe we can catch Elahai and Thelonious, perhaps sell off some scrolls and potions and stuff. Winged staff, you're drunk. Uh, right, I still need to find a cuirass and a helmet for the drake fired stuff. Hey, Macronus, how goes it? There's been some terrible trouble at the chapel in Anvil. All of the Bella's priests and priestesses murdered. Murdered. You see. Okay, so we're dropping off a couple things, right? Sixth house amulet is one of them. What 
does that look like? Looks like that. Which is fine. Uh, and the Staff of Weyan Deer, which I think should go in here. With the Winged Staff. Hope it all fits. Unless I need the Staff of Weyan Deer for the quest that I'm about to go on for Malik. Uh, I'll check it out tomorrow. I'm going to check that out tomorrow morning, so I'll just keep it on me for now. That makes sense. Okay. Bedtime, then. Ah, perfect. Beautiful night for sleeping. This looks such like such a warm, inviting bed. My bed, you know. All right. Um, so the staff I'm not going to worry about for now. I don't think I have any books to drop off. Um, in the morning, maybe I'll do some... No, 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 I'm not going to do any alchemy right now. I'm just going to go look at the dungeon, take the staff with me just in case. Maybe I'll take Grieg or Bartok with me. Or Macronus, for that matter. Check that out. Uh, maybe do some trading with Thelonious or Elhai. And then we'll figure out whether we want to go to... Seven hours, huh? We'll figure out whether we want to go to... Um, Shadenhall or Anvil first. For the... Uh, Fighters Guild questline.